Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to show you how you can replicate start on field update in Flow. So this is a beginner level topic and I'm going to do a quick recap of what you can do in Dynamics 365 workflows today and then I'm going to show you how you can replicate it in Flow. So in terms of what you can do today is when you're configuring your Dynamics 365 workflow, you can set the start when criteria and you can do it when the record status changes or you can define what fields, um, what fields you are updating in terms of triggering that workflow. And so what I'm going to show you is how you can replicate this in Flow. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to head over into Flow now and I'm going to show you the flow where I've set the trigger using a Dynamics 365 trigger. And when you are using a Dynamics 365 trigger, you don't have the ability to set the on-field update criteria. And so what this means is that every time you update your record, it will always trigger the flow because there's nothing that you can set in terms of on-field update. And so what this means is if I select the origin of email, we're going to see that this flow has been executed. Now before we go ahead and check the run history on the flow. Basically what this flow is doing is whenever the status equals resolved, it will go ahead and send an email to the contact of the case. Okay, so let's see if that flow executed. Okay, so we can see that the flow has executed, but because I didn't change the status, so in, some, in other words, set it to resolved, we can see that it has failed the condition. So just to show you that the flow will again be executed, I'm now changing a different field and I'm saving it and the flow will continue to execute. And what this means is that the flow will always be triggered, it's always going to execute and this can be a disadvantage if you have a lot of flows in your instances because there is a limit in terms of the number of flows that you can execute. So how do you get around this? Well, here's what I'm going to show you next. If you do have a flow plan one or a flow plan two, it means that you are entitled to use a premium connector. A premium connector that you can use is the common data service. So within the common data service there is an option in here called show advanced options. When you click on this uh, you will have an additional advanced option where the filters will be displayed. So in here is where you can select your field that will be validated in the flow in terms of whether it has been updated or not. So in here I've set the field to state code. So state code is the schema name for the status reason. And now by setting the attribute filter, filter item hyphen one to state code, it means that it will always check that this field has been updated whenever the case has been updated. In Dynamics 365. Now when you click on add new item, this is where you can select any additional field criteria that you want the flow to check before it triggers. Um, but because I want to keep it simple for today's what the flow episode, I will just leave it as state code. So I'm going to go ahead, ahead and hit save and then when we go back we will make sure this flow is on and then we'll go ahead and test that now. So what I'm going to do is now if I go back in here and let's say I change this back to select and I clear the entitlement and I hit save 
And when we go back into our flow that's using the CDS trigger, we will now see that the flow will never be executed. And that is because the status has not been set to resolved. So I'm just refreshing a few times just to show you that it hasn't been executed. And so now when we go back into the case and let's say I go ahead and set the values back and we'll put another description here and I hit save. Oh. Wow. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> I don't know why that never showed. Okay, so now let's go back into our flow and we'll hit the refresh. And again, if I hit refresh multiple times, we shall see that the flow has not been executed. And this is good because um, now it's not always going to trigger that flow. So now when we go back into the case and we resolve the case, the flow should now be triggered. Okay, so now that the case has been resolved and we go back into our flow, when we refresh this flow, we should now see that the flow has been executed. Okay, you ready? All right, I'm about to hit refresh. Go! Ooh, it's running! Okay, let's give it a few more seconds. All right, I'm going to refresh now. Yes, okay. So now when we have a look at the flow, we should see that it has passed. Sorry, we should see that it has executed and that it has met the condition. So that's what we want. So just a quick recap, if we are using a Dynamics 365 trigger, where it is when the record is updated, your flow is always going to execute. If you do have a flow plan one or a flow plan two license, it means you're entitled to use the premium connectors. And when you do use the premium connector of the trigger for whenever a record is updated using the CDS connector, you can set the field criteria. So you can set the criteria using the show advanced options and by selecting the fields and if you add any other new fields um, the flow will respect what you have selected in there. Now before we wrap up this WTF episode there is another community blogger uh, Thanura also known as T or Thunder so he has done a blog recently where he has given a side-to-side -side comparison with the limitations of a Dynamics 365 connector versus a CDS connector. So I recommend to go ahead and check it out and also follow him on Twitter. And that is that for today's WTF episode. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. In my upcoming WTF episode, I will be talking about how you can reference option set fields when you are using a condition stack in Flow. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Let's go.